Anna Marcos takes a close-up look at 18th Street in the special report. A few clicks and the gun cartridges are in place. Sergeant Lance Dorado is ready. He and his gang unit's nightly vigil in the streets of Rampart has begun. There was a shooting last night and one this morning. Now a warning goes out over the radio. One of Rampart's many gangs has issued a call to kill police officers. It is requested that all officers use extreme caution. Tonight, no officer shootings, but the job does start with some early arrests. These suspected gang members were caught trespassing, and the apartment owner turned them in. The arrests unfold next to an alley as children play nearby. Traditional gangs that people probably think of what they're fighting over is the turf or the neighborhood or the families, that's eroded somewhat. A lot of motivation is the selling of the rock. They don't have storefronts, they don't have places, so what they fight over is the alley the buyers know they can come get rot. Death warnings, arrests, crack alleys, graffiti. It's a typical night's work. But what concerns Sergeant Gerardo most tonight is a certain gang called 18th Street. This is 18th Street territory. It is here the city and district attorneys have declared war by winning a permanent gang injunction against the gang in court. This community is under constant attack by urban terrorists that call themselves the 18th Street Gang. They don't just kill each other. As we see almost daily on the news, they kill anyone who gets in their way, including innocent children. We will once again bring peace to this community and deliver long overdue justice to the gang members that have terrorized this community for generations. They are blatant. I know, blatant. I just, they had a friend two blocks over, kids running down the street shooting off a pistol. The 18th Street Gang Injunction makes it illegal for the gang and 26 of its members to gather together in public. They are barred from carrying tools for writing graffiti or intimidating witnesses. No obstructing of traffic, no drugs, alcohol, or weapons of any kind are allowed. It's an enforcement tool that if you're there, you get stopped, you get hooked up, you go to jail for whatever, and if you come back out there, you get stopped, you get hooked up, you get put away. The conjunction is really effective because it keeps people rocked back and on their heels. And her name is Sonia, and she's come here to sell dope. And hand in hand with a gang injunction goes the watching and the gathering of information. Gerardo has been keeping an eye on this section of turf and the gang members who call it theirs. The street is actually what I consider somewhat of a success. It used to be very inundated and with a lot of hard work from some of our narcotic folks and from our gang detail and from the officers in Rampart, the street's a lot better. I'm proud of what it, kids walking down the street there. I wouldn't say safely, but it's good to see them out. This place used to be nothing but dope dealing, dope dealing and shootings. The dope dealing is still out there on the streets every night. Tonight, officers stake out a building from which the 18th Street gang is believed to peddle its crack cocaine wafers. Once it gets dark, officers move in. The gang unit arrests four drug suspects, two of them alleged gang members. Inside the home, police look for a gun they believe the suspects used, as well as more drugs. So the gun's somewhere, we just don't know where the gun's at. That's how much rock they have left. The suspects appear to have gotten rid of the evidence. There's different ways to doing it. The folks that we're dealing with right now are carrying small amounts in their mouth and they'll sell it to one person. But there are places where they'll keep it in their butt crack and the person who buys it will take it right from that guy's hand and put it in his mouth. From the butt crack to the mouth? Yeah, because they're so worried about being arrested. Meanwhile, as the arrests continue, police officers watch the windows and balconies for snipers who might try to take a shot at them. Inside, the residents, mostly Spanish-speaking, try to ignore the commotion. I've seen them outside, but I haven't seen them selling dope, this woman says. But she admits she'd be too scared to report a drug deal if she saw it on a daily basis, just to come out and get in your car, 
there'll be gangsters sitting on it and they'll tell you go pound sand. You can't even get in your own car. Your children will have to walk out on the street because they're hanging out and drinking beer on the sidewalk. Just a daily basis to live with these. It's miserable. They terrorize them at every aspect. Tell me what it's like living here. Hell. Lachelle Shantaya Blackwell says she grew up with the 18th Street Gang and that they are her friends. My mama left me, my daddy beat me, and the gangbangers raised me. But I don't gang make. I've been shot five times, two in the heart. I have a sawed off shotgun one right here. I got shot twice in the heart and twice in the head. But you're not a gang But I'm not a gang babe, but this is all I know. Why would people do that to you if you're not a gang Because my car was the wrong color. Blackwell says she's trying to rebuild her life away from the gangs. She started her own carpet cleaning business. I'm just trying so hard, but every time I try hard, somebody try to pull me back. This man denies being a gang member. Police say he's not only a gang member, he's on parole for firing a gun off this balcony. He is a gang member. He's a member of uh, La Raza Loca. Uh, his moniker is Stinky. Um, he is active in narcotic sales for uh, the La Raza Loca gang. Tonight, in spite of the arrests, things grow quiet early. You recognize that guy? Lately, we haven't seen him hanging out as much. So even just the word, the initial process, the initial start of the injunction, it seems like it is getting out and word is starting to affect the gang members. Who's that? Garcia. Garcia? Where's Snapper Garcia? at? Huh? Where's Snapper at? I don't know. Uh, all right, tell him we said hello. Huh? Tell him we said hello. Hello. What's the signs that gangs live here are everywhere, including this religious mural. Police estimate the Rampart area alone is home to about 35 gangs and 8,500 known gang members. And that, they say, is just the tip of the iceberg. The number could be five times that high. Is it real hard to get out of the gang life? Yeah. The only way you can get out is die. That's the only way you can get out. In order to be a gang banger, you got to get initiated. You got to go smoke the bloods and kill someone. It's an uneasy truce between the officers and the gang members they watch. In between the stakeouts and arrests, there's sometimes a joke or two about perps and informants. Thanks for the info he gave us that one day, all right? <laughs> okay. But danger also lurks behind the laughter. Most gang members, if they could have the opportunity, they'll leave you for dead in a heartbeat. That is something these officers never let themselves forget. They can only hope the injunction makes it harder for the 18th Street gang members to operate on Rampart Streets. I'm Anna Marcos for LA This Week. Excellent report, Anna.